Hi, it's Norma again from Norma's Creative Art. And tonight I'm going to attempt to do a uh, strainer, sink strainer pour. I did this one other time and I had watched a video. And this was my uh, attempt and it didn't, I didn't have enough uh, paint on the canvas to take it all the way out to the ends, but I do like it. And it's it's very pretty. It's got the gold. It's got the golds. It's got the golds and the yellows, and it's very pretty. So I'm going to do this tonight for my great granddaughter Shiloh, and I'm going to do it in the colors that she has in her room that her grandmother is making a quilt. And I'm starting with the the colors that I'll be using tonight are the Master's Touch Thalo Blue. Master's Touch Black, White, and then the Master's Touch Gold, the Orange, the Sapphire Blue, and the Yellow. So, and most of these, the four of these are pre-mixed and you don't have to uh, use any pouring medium and my pouring medium is Liquitex. I'm going to um, take the camera down and point it more at the project so that you can see how the uh, paint comes out of the strainer. So I have brought this down uh, and you're going to be looking at the project. I have it on a turntable. I don't need it on a turntable, but I think it might be easier for me to deal with. I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with white so that I, I, the pigment, the paint can move on the canvas. So I have my white a uh, little thick. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to it to paint to try to be the same throughout. And, and these pre-mixed uh, pouring are a little bit thinner, a little bit thinner than the ones that come out of the jar called the liquid acrylic. So the liquid acrylic has to have the pouring medium and water and the uh, ones that just come out of the jar that you don't have to worry about uh, adding any pouring medium, they're a lot thinner. So I'm just going to coat the canvas. This is still pretty thin. And I, I want to put it on here so that the paint is going to move. So most of this paint will actually come off because it's going to push it out. Um, I'm going to take my uh, spatula and move my paint. I could take the hair dryer and blow it. I, this is why I put it on the turntable because I felt like it would be easy to move it around. This is a 10 inch round uh, canvas. I thought it might be good for Shiloh's room. Shiloh lives in Denver and is a Denver's Bronco fan. And so some of these colors are definitely, um, I've got that pretty thick in the middle, a little bit thicker than I want. So I just move it out. You can see I'm just moving it out. I'm going to put some on the sides so that when I go off the sides, I'll have a little bit of a base on there. Hopefully I'll be able to move some of this paint off to the side, to the sides, because then I would have a really pretty, pretty, this is, this is way too th uh, th thin and way too much paint about the right consistency. Might end up having to put a little bit more back in, but I think that this will work. I just want to be able to have that paint move when I put it in on the strainer and then it's going to move out and it's very pretty to watch. I'm, I'm amazed when I watch the people on, on YouTube 
how they do it. So I'm going to try to get that right in the center. Now what I want to do, uh, I want to start with some white in there, which I have, but I'm going to pour just a teeny bit more because I want the center. This is going to be my outside layer to start my paint moving. And then I'm going to go with the phthalo blue. And I'm going to try to get about the same amount in there so that I get the same rings. I need to fix that. I'm just going to stick my finger in it. And because I definitely do not want a boo-boo on there to start with. So there we go. Now I'm going to, uh, on top of the blue, I'm going to put the orange. That's the Denver uh, Broncos color, I believe. And then I want to put a little bit of blue. And this is the sapphire blue. I can see the colors starting to come out already, which are very pretty. Let's see if we can keep from dripping. Then I'm going to go with the golds. I really like the golds in there because that shows, oh, I can see the, the uh, orange really bleeding over the blue. But maybe now the blue's coming out. There's the sapphire blue's coming out. So now we're going to put some gold in there to break up the colors. I like to try to do a little bit of, of a light, dark, light, dark. Now I'm going to, to put really just one ring of black in there. And that's just to give it some depth uh, against the gold. And the black is a little bit thick, so I think I need to add just a touch of water. Doesn't bother me be, uh, doing this, because as I'm seeing the colors come out, they're beautiful as they're coming out. I can even see the gold starting to come out. And this is the black. Okay, and then I'm going to put the yellow in. The yellow is so pretty. and put a little bit of white, just one, one ring of white in the middle here uh, before I start my colors again. And that's actually to do a little bit of separation.
get it back toward the center. And over here a little bit. You want it kind of equal. And we're almost done with the pouring, so I, I really want it in the center to finish it off. Okay, a little bit of yellow. And from the yellow, I'm going to do the white. And then I think I'll end with the phthalo blue. pretty. See, and now I've lost some of my phthalo blue over here, but I probably would lose it anyway because that orange is going to come out to the corner and hopefully go off the canvas. And that's what I'm hoping it'll do. Now, I'm just a touch of black. I'm just going to do a little circle in the middle of the black. Okay. Now we're going to let that we're going to let that all kind of drip through. You can see right here that it's coming off the canvas. And over here it's not. So let's lift it just and move it a little bit over here. starting to come off the canvas over here. Now, if I had one of those puppy pools, um, I would be able to spin this and um, and have all kinds of pretty, pretty, pretty things. Now, I'm going to attempt to lift this and put my paper towel right underneath it. Almost, almost, but I think what I'm going to do is take a stick and do the center anyway. You can see where if you don't have your circle exactly the same. Now see the gold's going off over here. So I'm going to lose a little bit of these colors anyway. I just want to take and swirl this around in the center and then pull it out. put probably way too much paint on there. Got paint on my fingers, so I'm dripping, so I gotta be careful when I lift it up. What I'm doing is called wrecking, and that's when you take your stick and bring it through your painting. Ah, so pretty. I hope Shiloh likes it. I'm losing her blues. Her blues are coming off the canvas. take and put just a drop of blue in there in the middle so that I can drag it out. Yeah, I put too much paint on here. And I wanted to make sure that everything covered so I'm losing some of my paint. I can tell you I can, I'm losing some of my pretty paint, really. And we're going to take this and 
um, through there. And then we come through here. About this time, I'm always telling the people, leave it alone, leave it alone, it's pretty. I'm going to do one more right here. I think that's what I, I think it's done. I, I think that uh, uh, I will take and let this dry and take it, uh, bring the camera down uh, closer so that you can see it. And uh, when it's all, we'll see how much of it actually falls off. Maybe it'll come all the way out to the orange again. Uh, I'm seeing that uh, we're losing quite a bit. So I, uh, what I did, I learned, uh, is that I put too much paint on. But the colors, I could have put a little bit more blue into it. Uh, that touch of blue in the center still, I would like to still have it end up with the touches of blue in the center just to give it that blue and just swirl it around a little bit but I, I do want the blue <laughs> you lose it every time every time you swirl you lose it so uh, I'll just leave it alone I'm going to give this one spin just to see what it happens. I don't have a, a puppy pool, so I can't really spin it a lot. So I'm not going to I'm not going to try to spin anymore. I'm going to try to move this to the center, keep this more in the center. You can see where I'm losing the center. Uh, it's going off to the side, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, I think it's very pretty. I'll bring a, uh, when it's dry, I'll bring it down and let you see it. Well, I learned a lesson. I think I put too much paint on. So I'm going to try right now to do another one. And I've uh, washed off my strainer, so it, it still has a little bit of water in it. And I'm going to start with the white, uh, just to give it, I did not coat the canvas this time. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to go ahead and just start with the white. And maybe I'm going to not put as much paint in the cup at a time. I want more blues. So I, I am going to put more blues and because this is very thin, I think that's one of the reasons that you see that it sinks and we lose it. So I'm going to actually put more blue in there and I'm trying to get it all around so that it comes out even. So this one was a sapphire. Um, then I'm going to put the yellow. So I'm doing it in a different order also. Then I'm going to put the, the um, phthalo blue. Okay, then I'm going to put the orange. Then I'm actually going to put some gold. I don't have a lot of gold left. 
And so I'm only going to make one, uh, one pass with gold. I don't want the gold to really overtake the painting anyway. I like the gold in there because it gives it a little bit of shine. Okay, and then I want the blue again. I'm not going to put the black in until the very end. And this is a sapphire blue. And for all you pours that know what you're doing in this, maybe you can help me and give me some suggestions of what I'm doing wrong. Because here it comes out, and it could be the consistency of the paint. It's coming out uh, that orange, it looks like it must have been a little bit thin. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the yellow, um, yellow in. Yellow, I know yellow does take over stuff, so I'm not going to try to put as much in, maybe. And let's see what we're going to do. Let's do a little bit of white at this point in time. I'm just going to put a little bit of white. more than I really probably should have, but let's see. Well, I'll tell you what, I really like the colors coming out. I wish the more yellow would have come out. Um, I'm losing my blues. This is the phthalo blue. Maybe if I put it after the white, it'll come out better. Maybe a little bit more. And I definitely don't want to put as much on the canvas as I did last time. I actually lost a lot of my paint right off the end of the canvas because, uh, number one, I think the, uh, the white was too was too um, thin and maybe too much. I'm going to move that back over a little bit. I think, I think we're tending to go off just a little bit. So we're going to chill. I um, almost wished I had a, a different color of blue in there. I think I'm going to mix a little bit of white with the, this blue and see if I can get a lighter blue in there and um, maybe that will give it a little bit of contrast Almost a steel, steel blue, steel color blue. So let's see what this does. Well, it's coming out, and I and I want it to come out. I don't want it to to be completely uncovered, but I do want it to cover the canvas. So let's go with uh, the yellow. Okay. 
this center. Are we moving? Just a touch. Let's move it back. Move it back toward the middle. Come on, move back toward the middle. Okay. I'm going to put a little black in now. And I'm going to put a little white right in the middle, and then I'm going to try to put that blue to end with the blue and maybe some yellow. Or maybe the orange. Let's see. Here we go with the phthalo. Let's end with the phthalo and then the orange in the middle. And when we wreck by taking the stick and pulling it out, we'll have some color to pull from. So this is the phthalo blue and it's pretty dark. I'm going to just leave a touch in there because I want to come into the middle and put a dot for us to uh, wreck and do some wrecking. And that's when we pull that stick through. That's called wrecking. Okay, we're going to do the orange. And that's going to be it. We're going to see how this comes out. And I hope Shiloh enjoys having a painting by Great Grandma and uh, something that she can hang in her room. And uh, I need to get a paper towel. Not bad. I've got to practice that. I know that it, it's hard to... Uh, now, if I spun this around, it actually moves the paint out. Now I'm going to bring the, the paint back to the center. Back to the center. It's it's coming this way. So we need to, to move it. I don't want to lose that center and I don't want to lose the pretty uh, lacing stuff that's all over the place, the different colors, the layer of colors. I want to lose that. So I could put a little white on the edges here, drizzle a little white. And that moves the paint better. So I could put a little white in here. And it will move the paint out. Color right off the edge of the canvas. So uh, I'm going to actually spin it again. I need to move it and see how it spun right off. I need to move it back to the center.
Well, Shiloh loves these colors, so she's probably going to really like it. I like where where the, the blue is stretching, so I don't want to really lose my blues. So I'm going to pull it back to the center. I really like the blues going off the sides of the canvas, to tell you the truth. So we're going to try to dip it a little bit. Move it back to the center. I don't want to lose my center. Okay, let's go over here a little bit. See if we can stretch some of those blues off of here. Out. Little, little, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Come on, a little bit. Okay. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back to the middle. Okay. Now, we want to do that over here. So we're going to push it, push it. Come on. Move, move. I don't want to lose my center. Okay. Exactly where I wanted. And I need one more spot. Right here. Right here. So we need to push it. Don't want to lose our centers. So. Come back, come back, come back. Go right off that one edge. All right. It's still not there. Still not off that one edge. We've got just that one area that I want to... to do. Oh, that's so pretty. Well, it's not perfectly uh, symmetrical. Let's look at the sides. Oh, they're pretty. I think most of the canvases are covered. Most of the canvas are covered. I'm just touching it a couple of places where it's not. But most of the canvas actually got covered with when I tilted it off. So, and I'm just touching a couple of the spots that didn't get covered so that they are covered. I have a mess on my hands, don't I? Well, when, the, uh, when this dries, I'll uh, bring it down. I don't think we'll have as much paint off the canvas. It's not s symmetrical. Um, I think it's because I'm, I don't have it. I don't know that it's not level. It's just that the strainer maybe is not in the exact it moves. And I'll learn every time I do a painting, I think that I will learn a little bit more. Well, I piddled around with the first one a little bit after I did the second one because I had the, I love the orange in the middle. So I added a little orange to this one and then I did some more wrecking. And then this is the second one. And of course they're not dry, so I will take a picture of them when they dry. Well, here's the finished piece. It's still not completely dried. And this is the, first one that I did and here's the second one I did and I'll try to bring it in for a closer look I love the the colors that ripple through this I love the center very neat effect this is a very neat effect I still need to get this per, uh, perfected a little bit more. If you liked what I did today, please hit like and subscribe. I'm still trying to get 100 subscribers. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.